Hey y'all, welcome back to another Poly Gel Nail Design Set. Y'all, look at these. Little Miss Betty Boop, like she did her thing. She started a little controversy and everything, but she definitely did her thing for this set. I actually started to take these off before I even finished them, but I'm glad I didn't because look at her, like she was just real sexy. But I wanted to show you guys these stickers, so there's a um, a page on Instagram, Shop Kiki. They also have a website, but um, I came across that page and she had these stickers. Like she had every character, every color, every shade, every holiday. Like if you're looking for, if you're somebody like me who can't draw and paint, but you want to do like some character nails, definitely check her page out. They come from size small all the way up to 2XL. Um, again, like I said, everything for every holiday. I actually came across somebody page to, with some stickers that I don't even have yet. And you see how many I already have. So she had a lot of stickers. But um, y'all go check her page out. Um, she real professional too. And she helps you. If you message her and need some help, she definitely help you out. But um, all right. So this was Agile Beauty's Poly Gel. I believe it was Snow Night. It was a white with a little bit of glitter in there. The glitter is real fine. You can barely see it, but it just gives that little bit of sparkle. I went with a oval nail bed. Um, what number was that? That went by so quickly. Okay, so look. The, I know this Poly Gel was from Landform. They do not have this kit on Amazon anymore, unfortunately. But this color here, it just reminded me of caramel, caramel, whatever you call it. It just reminded me of caramel. It was like sticky and thick and the color was the same and just everything. But all I was trying to do here was just like kind of swerve it, make it like a little snake type thing. So the inspiration for this set came from, there was a picture on Instagram. It was a black woman's bridal party and their dresses, not even dresses, their, the bridal party was men and women. And they had on these brown to tan, like skin tone color dresses. And the picture was just like so beautiful. And that's where the um, inspiration came from. I just wanted to use those like nudes and browns. It was like skin tones when I, and that's what I wanted to use for this set. So that is how these came about. Uh, this color here, who was this? I think that was Ashiha Bay or Ashiba, one of them type names, I don't know. Um, this poly gel was actually really nice to use. I didn't have any problems with that. The thing is, I have like a lot of browns and nudes, and I just don't get to use them that often. So I definitely want to take the time out and do a little more nude sets. But all I was doing was just going, I started with the caramel color, and then I was going back and forwards. Um, the darker ones were on one side, the lighter ones on the other side, and just pretty much connecting them to the previous color. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So I cure every color separately, a, a quick cure. So from like eight to 10 seconds or something like that. So I'll put the poly gel on the nail and kind of work it wherever I want to go. In this case, I use a dotting tool for this color just cause I had like two more colors that I needed to add on. But after I do whatever I'm going to do, I put it in the light for like a quick eight to 10 seconds, take it out and then start with the next color. I just tend to do a lot of color blocking and um, for the color blocking, at least for me, it's best to give it a cure so that way the two colors don't blend or bleed into one another. Okay, so this color here. And so, um, I mean, it's not a whole lot to it. Actually, I don't think this kit is on Amazon anymore, neither. So I'm sorry, guys, I won't be giving you any links for the poly gels. But yeah, that, that was that. Let me tell y'all right quick how Miss Betty Boops just, she like was starting a race war. So I posted set on Instagram and the young lady was like, Betty Boop wasn't brown. And I was like, well, she's brown today. And any other day I decide to use her. That went all into learn your history. Um, what's it, what it say? The Europeans will come back on top, go back to your dirt huts and whatever, whatever, right? And I'm not one of them people who find things, I don't get offended by racist things, words, N-words and stuff, like stuff like that don't bother me. But um, it was just like, wow, you that upset about some nails, some Betty Boop nails. 
But um, just for you guys who don't know, Betty Boop, her likeness was based off a black woman, Esther Jones. And so Betty Boop is black. She pretty much was black. But um, anyway, look, so it was just like that little, that young lady. I don't know. She just, I don't know. Like, I feel like nobody should get that upset or offended by nails. Like, we're talking nails, nails that I'm wearing. But anyway, look, so let's go ahead and remove those forms. Um, they was a little tacky on the underside, mainly the ones in the middle. I don't know if it, cause I, it kind of jumped so quickly, but that last brown, that dark brown that I used there, that was McCart's brown. I think that was their contour kit. And, um, the color is so pretty. That's the only deep brown I have like that. Um, very, very pretty color, but here's the nails before. And honestly, they were not bad. I know you looking at them like, Oh, you know, it's a lot, but for me, that wasn't a lot of filing. Here they go after. And like I said, after I filed them, I didn't know what I want to do with them until I started going through them stickers. And it's like, oh, she would be cute on them. So for these stickers, they transfer foils. So I'm cutting them out, the ones I want to use. The, they remind me of water decals, transfer foils, and stickers, like all in one. Um, so after I cut out the ones I want, like with the water decals, you cut out the ones you want to use, you take off the little white backing or the clear one in that case, and then soak it in water. And then for like the transfer, I, I don't know. Let me not even get all into that. Y'all let me skip on over that little part. Look, so look, I'm going to cut them on out of there or the ones that I want to use, I took the little white backing off, put it on the nail, start from the middle and then um, push it out on the sides. Now, one thing about these stickers, definitely make sure you put them on the nail where you want it to go before you start rubbing and pressing it into the nail. I actually, I believe it was this finger, and I don't show any here, but um, I put on the nail, she was a little crooked, and so I tried to use some alcohol to wipe it off. The alcohol did not get it off. So I tried some acetone, that did not get it off. I had to file the transfer sticker off. So if you guys get these, definitely make sure before you start rubbing like I'm rubbing, make sure you like the placement, or you will be filing that sticker off. Which is kind of good, though, because, I mean, it'll definitely last. The image will last for a long time. But, okay. So, we got her on this little finger. Rub her in. Again, I start from the middle. Then press it out on the sides. And then give a nice, firm rub. It don't take a lot, neither, when it's rubbing it. Just give it a little rub, and it transfer, but no problem. This little part here is so satisfying to me. Watching this little clear part come off and seeing how well that sticker transferred to that nail it's just so satisfying to me i enjoyed that part but okay let's take that oh, while that's doing that let me take my time out to thank you guys i so love and appreciate all of you who take that time out and watch these videos i know my personality isn't all that entertaining but i definitely appreciate you guys um, my subscribers going up, my view counts is going up, my comments are going up. So I definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate and love you guys so much for that. Um, don't forget to just continue to like, comment, subscribe, share. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so look, for the top coat, I went with Young Nails top coat. Um, it's, it's thick. I'm not a big fan of it because how thick it is. But because I did put a sticker on the nail, I wanted to make sure my top coat, the line of light in my top coat was still like smooth. I just wanted to make sure the surface was still pretty even. And so that's why I went with that. I wanted to add a little bling on that nail, but not too much. So I just went with my typical three piece. For me, a three piece round or three piece bling is just going with a big one, a medium, and then a small one. Wipe all of that extra top coat off and cured it. Same thing with the ring finger. Just did a big one, a medium one, then a small one. Bling is not my forte. I am not good at it. It's the least, my least favorite part. Um, I felt like if I can go without it, I would. But I'm extra. Like you guys see, I wear a lot of rings and bracelets and stuff. So I feel like I need that bling. But I hate doing that part. 
Okay, so for the middle finger and for the thumb, I went back to my, um, who was that? I went back to my Venalisa top coat. I almost forgot her name there. But I went back to the Venalisa top coat and um, just added these little charms. This charm I got from AliExpress and they came in red and green. If I could find a link to that, I'll put it in the descriptions for you guys. But then um, I put that one on and then put some little diamond ones. For me, when I do bling, I wanted to like fully bling out that middle finger. And so what I tend to do is start with my biggest piece and then work my way down to the smallest one. So I'll put the big one on there, start filling in gaps with the next size all the way down until I get to like the smallest one. And that's all I pretty much did here. So if you guys like bling, struggle with it, just start with your big one, medium, small, and just kind of go with it. But... Just filling in all those little extra little areas. And then, of course, I had to add a little three-piece here just because I did it on the pointer finger and the ring finger. Um, Let's see, wasn't a whole lot to it. Just filling it out, putting it in there. But wipe off the extra. Oh, I forgot one. So, boom, let's put that one on there. And then wipe off all of that extra top coat and then give it a final cure. But look how pretty she is. I got a better video, a little clip coming up soon so you can see it a little better. But look how cute. Like she was just so cute. And I am so proud of myself for actually completing the set because you I was about to take it off. But she did her thing. She was so beautiful. I actually left her on for five days. But thank you guys. Um, you all know. I thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.